Excuse me, Alice. Did you just refuse to go on an anniversary date with my son? Why do you know that? Also, yes, of course. You're still angry at Chris for cheating on you after all this time. I heard the whole story from Chris. It was such a long time ago already. You really need to move on from the past and learn how to forgive. Please wait a second. How did you even get my phone number? I'm pretty sure I blocked all you guys after Chris and I divorced. Exactly! I had to find a different way to contact you because you blocked me. The only way I could do it was to make a brand new account. Also, I peeked at Chris's phone and saw your number. Why would you do that? Anyways, Alice, let me get to the main point. Stop with this whole farce already. Honestly, it's getting old. Be friendly to my son and go have dinner with him. This is a great opportunity to get back together again. Great opportunity for who? Not for me. I'm sure Chris is too shy to tell you. He probably doesn't want to do everything over text. It can be awkward. But he's thinking about rekindling the relationship with you. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, why? <laughs> That's why I want you to stop being mean to him already. The poor boy is trying his best. I'm sure you two will hit it off again when you go on your romantic dinner date. The conversation will be natural and effortless, I'm sure. Don't you think it's romantic to make up on your 10-year anniversary? Why should I do that, though? Oh, right, I forgot to mention this. Just in case, could you bring a copy of the marriage registration with you to the meeting? I'll forge his signature on it, so don't worry. As for the rest of the dinner date, I'll leave it all up to you. All right, seriously, I'm going to need you to slow down for a minute. I have absolutely no intention of getting back together with your son. Let me make that very clear to you. Please don't say things like us getting back together. It's never going to happen. What? But why not? What do you mean, why not? Isn't it pretty obvious? Chris cheated on me. He broke my trust. Why should I get back together with him? How can I trust him? There's no way I would ever want to be with a person like him. Don't worry about it. Chris has reflected a lot about his actions. He feels deeply sorry. Uh, okay. But it still doesn't change the fact that I don't want to be with him. He knows he was being dumb. He's told me all about it. That's why he won't do it ever again. So don't worry about him breaking your trust. You can trust him this time. You two can move on and start a new chapter together. Are you not listening to me? He's reflected on his actions and told me how much he wants to be with you again. But you know how he is. He's got that pride of his doesn't know how to bring up the topic with you. So that's why during the dinner date, you'll have a chance to get back with him. There'll be a perfect moment, so don't you worry. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I know you want to get back with my son too. Don't be so shy. I'll help set things up between you two. I'm on your side. I don't need you to do anything for me. I've repeated myself many times already. I have no intention of being with Chris. Oh, you and your stubbornness. Stop it already. Ah, yes, one more thing I forgot to mention. Since you two are going out to dinner, wouldn't a nice walk in the evening be the perfect way to end the date? Just think about it. A romantic walk through the city, looking at the lights and everything. Excuse me? 
Wouldn't it be so lovely, though? Sharing a nice meal together with a beautiful view later. I'm positive it'll be wonderful for you two. I'm sure you two will definitely work things out. <laughs> Don't worry about anything. Leave it all up to me. I'll take care of all the preparations. Excuse me, Alice. Did you just refuse to go on an anniversary date with my son? Why do you know that? Also, yes, of course. You're still angry at Chris for cheating on you after all this time? I heard the whole story from Chris. It was such a long time ago already. You really need to move on from the past and learn how to forgive. Please wait a second. How did you even get my phone number? I'm pretty sure I blocked all you guys after Chris and I divorced. Exactly! I had to find a different way to contact you because you blocked me. The only way I could do it was to make a brand new account. Also, I peeked at Chris's phone and saw your number. Why would you do that? Anyways, Alice, let me get to the main point. Stop with this whole farce already. Honestly, it's getting old. Be friendly to my son and go have dinner with him. This is a great opportunity to get back together again. Great opportunity for who? Not for me. I'm sure Chris is too shy to tell you. He probably doesn't want to do everything over text. It can be awkward. But he's thinking about rekindling the relationship with you. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, why? <laughs> That's why I want you to stop being mean to him already. The poor boy is trying his best. I'm sure you two will hit it off again when you go on your romantic dinner date. The conversation will be natural and effortless, I'm sure. Don't you think it's romantic to make up on your 10-year anniversary? Why should I do that, though? Oh, right, I forgot to mention this. Just in case, could you bring a copy of the marriage registration with you to the meeting? I'll forge his signature on it, so don't worry. As for the rest of the dinner date, I'll leave it all up to you. All right, seriously, I'm going to need you to slow down for a minute. I have absolutely no intention of getting back together with your son. Let me make that very clear to you. Please don't say things like us getting back together. It's never going to happen. What? But why not? What do you mean, why not? Isn't it pretty obvious? Chris cheated on me. He broke my trust. Why should I get back together with him? How can I trust him? There's no way I would ever want to be with a person like him. Don't worry about it. Chris has reflected a lot about his actions. He feels deeply sorry. Uh, okay. But it still doesn't change the fact that I don't want to be with him. He knows he was being dumb. He's told me all about it. That's why he won't do it ever again. So don't worry about him breaking your trust. You can trust him this time. You two can move on and start a new chapter together. Are you not listening to me? He's reflected on his actions and told me how much he wants to be with you again. But you know how he is. He's got that pride of his doesn't know how to bring up the topic with you. So that's why during the dinner date, you'll have a chance to get back with him. There'll be a perfect moment, so don't you worry. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I know you want to get back with my son too. Don't be so shy. I'll help set things up between you two. I'm on your side. I don't need you to do anything for me. I've repeated myself many times already. I have no intention of being with Chris. 
Oh, you and your stubbornness. Stop it already! Ah, yes, one more thing I forgot to mention. Since you two are going out to dinner, wouldn't a nice walk in the evening be the perfect way to end the date? Just think about it. A romantic walk through the city, looking at the lights and everything. Excuse me? Wouldn't it be so lovely, though? Sharing a nice meal together with a beautiful view later. I'm positive it'll be wonderful for you two. I'm sure you two will definitely work things out. <laughs> Don't worry about anything. Leave it all up to me. I'll take care of all the preparations. Hey, Alice. Which restaurant did you end up deciding to take me to? I'm just about ready to leave, so let me know. Excuse me? Don't tell me you forgot about today. Today's the day! It's our anniversary today. You promised to take me out, didn't you? What the heck are you talking about? I'm not going out to dinner with you. And I haven't made any reservations. No such date exists. Stop fantasizing! What? What do you mean you didn't reserve anything? Are you kidding? You told me you put in the reservation two years ago, didn't you? Two years ago. Even if I did make a reservation two years ago, I would have canceled it right after we got divorced. Why would you do that? Ah, uh, it's pretty obvious. I don't know why I need to spell it out for you. But why, though? Why are you so shocked? Why would I go out on a dinner date with you after getting divorced? It literally makes no sense. Are you just messing with me? Do you know how excited I've been waiting for this day? And to think you actually cancelled it? Fine, if you're gonna act like this, then let's just pick some random restaurant to go eat at. You know any good places? Take me there. What? And let me just say this right now. Today's your treat. I'm not paying one cent of this. It's your fault for canceling the reservation without letting me know. So, if you pay for tonight's dinner, we can call it even, yeah? Just hold up. I'm getting really weirded out by you right now. Are you 100% serious about going out to eat together? Obviously, yes. Why don't you get it? It's our anniversary today. We. Are. Divorced. Do you understand what the word divorced means? Do I need to look it up in the dictionary for you? Cut it out already, seriously! If this is some prank you're trying to pull, you need to stop. You cut it out with the divorce thing already. It doesn't matter right now. What matters is that you promised to take me out to dinner two years ago. It doesn't matter if we got divorced or not. You need to hold up your end of the deal. A promise is a promise. You don't go around breaking promises. I'm at a loss for words right now. Really, I don't know what to say. I don't care if you got some reasons you don't want to tell me. I don't forgive people who break their promise. You and I are going out tonight for dinner, and that is final. Don't flake out on me, you hear? What the heck? Man, I even skipped breakfast this morning just to save my appetite. This sucks. I'm starving right now. Come on already. Let's go hit up somewhere. I don't care where or what kind of food it is. Uh, and why should I go with you? It's our anniversary, so would you please hurry up and pick a place already? The least you can do is buy me dinner. You literally forgot such an important day. This is seriously all your fault. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I got married again. You what? I'm not gonna go with another man. Never mind my ex-husband of all people. Seriously, just leave me alone already, would you? 
You've been harassing me constantly about this dinner date that doesn't even exist. I don't understand. Didn't you say you were starving? Then go to McDonald's by yourself and grab something. Alright, now you listen to me here. What the heck do you mean you got married again? It's quite a simple process. I was single. I met a nice guy, we got married. The end. Is it really so hard to understand? What were you thinking? How could you marry another guy when you already have me? Of course I would marry another guy because he's nice, handsome, and won't cheat on me. Shut up, what the heck are you saying? You didn't even get my permission to get divorced. Who gave you the right to leave me? Since when do I need your permission to get a divorce? Divorce means that you were originally married to me, not to some other guy. And yet you went out and decided to get married to someone else? You think I would let you do such a thing? You need to divorce your husband right now. I don't care what you think. It's my life. I have every right to find my own happiness, and you're clearly not able to give it to me. If you continue to harass me like this, I will call the police. Wait, hang on. Bye! Don't contact me again! Hello? Is this Alice? I need you to answer me right now. What is the meaning of all of this? What now? I never heard anything about you getting remarried. I need you to explain everything from the very beginning. I mean, even if I explain everything, does it really matter? I've already moved on and started a new life. That's why I told you a month ago already. I'm not getting back together with Chris. It's impossible. You should have told me earlier then. Why didn't you bring this up before when we were talking? You should have just spat it out. I didn't want to share details about my personal life with you or Chris. But do you realize what you've done? Because of you, my son is in a state of complete shock right now. How will you take responsibility for your actions? Your nonchalant attitude is absolutely unacceptable here. He just called me and was sobbing uncontrollably on the phone. I'm sorry, what? He said he couldn't stand the fact that he was unable to be with you. What are you going to do about his feelings? I'm not going to do anything about it. He's an adult. He should be able to figure out things on his own. It's concerning to me how both of you have been so delusional thinking we could be together again. Excuse me. You better watch your tone. You and Chris are going to get married again. Do you hear me? That's what my son wants, and as his former wife, it is your obligation to fulfill his wish. What are you talking about? You're crazy. What's wrong with getting remarried to my son? I need you to go to your husband right now and explain things to him. Do you understand? You are going to divorce him immediately. Wow, I can see where Chris gets his crazy genes from. You two are saying literally the exact same thing. File for divorce right now and go be with my son. I want you to be by his side immediately. Chris has been looking forward to today for so long. How could you leave him behind like this? There's no way I'm going. Absolutely not. Then what should Chris do tonight? He's walking around near the pier right now, crying all by himself. Do you have any sympathy for him? Huh? Why is he at the pier? That's kind of far away from where he lives. Because he was going to propose to you, that's why. That's why we prepared everything tonight. We put everything we had into tonight. We booked a super expensive evening cruise just for you. Excuse me? You booked a cruise. Exactly. 
you see how much effort we've put in? How much Chris cares? Both of us worked hard to try and set the mood and to find the perfect place for him to propose to you. Tonight was going to be the night Chris would carry out his surprise proposal. I'm at a loss for words. And that's not it either. He prepared a bouquet of 100 roses too. Uh, he's been waiting at the pier all alone for you. But you just had to get married to someone else, didn't you? What are you going to do about this mess that you've created? Do you realize how much money we've spent for this day? Everything from the food to the roses to the ship were all planned to the very last detail. Um... Even if you tell me all this, I don't see why I need to do anything about it. You two are the ones who decided to go ahead and do all this, not me. I didn't ask for any of this. I can't stand you! We've done everything to try and please you. How dare you talk to me like this! Once again, I did not ask for any of this. You two are delusional. I've tried everything to create this opportunity for you, too. You even told Chris that you wanted to get back together again. Then why are you being like this now? My son believed in you and put his whole heart into tonight. I have no idea where he got that idea from because I haven't been in contact with him. What should I do now? Chris just texted me saying he doesn't want to live anymore. You need to realize that you also fueled Chris's delusions. It's a shame. Going so far as to book a cruise ship? I wouldn't want to be on this earth anymore either. Blood will be on your hands if Chris decides to jump into the ocean. Please, I'm begging you. You need to go to him right now. Tell him you'll rekindle the relationship. Go to the pier right now! No thank you. At this point, I'm not sure if I can take anything you two say seriously. I'm gonna watch a movie with my husband tonight, so I'm busy. I hate you! You're an absolute disgrace of a human being. We did everything we could just for tonight. Why won't you just go to him? Even if you beg me, I'm not going to go. I have no obligation to help either of you, considering how manipulative you two have been. Fine. I see how it is now. I'm never going to let you have Chris then. I'll have Chris find another woman and get them to marry. You guys could have just done that from the very beginning. My son is popular. And I'm sure he'll have women falling all over him. He can get married at any time he wants. I'll use my connections to get him the woman he deserves. A rich young lady would be suitable for him. Someone completely different from you, you hag. Wow, good for you. Happy to hear it. I'm sure Chris will have a wonderful second marriage. Don't you dare think for a single second that you're the only one who can get married again. A lowly woman like you deserves to stay with another lowly man. You don't deserve to have my son. Please, Alice. I'm begging you. You need to get married with me again right now. Please, it's my only chance of getting out of here. You need to get me out. What's going on? If you don't, I'm gonna be stuck marrying some crazy woman. I was dragged to go and meet her. I'm at her place right now. I really can't stand it. You're going to meet her? Oh, is she one of your mom's connections? Yes, that's exactly it. She told me she'd find you a super rich princess, basically. Isn't that good for you, though? You basically live like a king now. No, it's absolutely not fine at all. 
Being rich doesn't solve all of your problems. Who do you think my mom's bringing along with her? No idea. Also, I don't care. You know who ended up coming to the meeting? A 40-year-old shut-in. She's also three times heavier than me. Who in their right mind would want to marry a woman like that? I see. Even my mom is starting to panic about this situation. But this woman owns a lot of property around here, so there's no way we can go against her. What am I supposed to do now? I don't understand. You guys planned to meet, but you had no idea who or what she looked like? You know your mom was bragging to me about how she'd find a suitable wife for you. She was so confident in herself. And you know what mom told me? She said that it would be better for me to find a woman who's the exact opposite of you. You're younger than me and you work all the time, so that's why in my mom's mind we ended up divorcing. What the heck? That's not even the reason we divorced. That's why she thinks this time it would be better for me to be with a much older woman who's more of a homebody. My mom reached out to one of her contacts and told them exactly that. So her contact texted her back, saying they found the perfect fit. But I wasn't prepared for a 40-year-old recluse. Well, I mean, she does kind of fit the requirements. Good for you. Why don't you two try getting married? As if I could do that. I've got no choice but to tell her that I've got a fiancé already. That's why I'm begging you. Please marry me right now. And what if I say no? If you don't, then I'm gonna jump into the ocean and kill myself. What? I ran away from the meeting. I ended up back at the pier where we were supposed to have our anniversary. Please, Alice, why don't we just try again? Give me a second chance. If you say no, then I'm really gonna jump. Hold up, don't make empty threats like that. This has nothing to do with me. I have no control over your mother's actions. I'm not joking around. I'm being serious right now. If you don't promise to marry me right now, then I'll jump. I swear I'll kill myself. Okay, okay. If you're gonna go that far, then I get it. Alice? Oh, I'm so glad you finally accepted me again. We'll be together again. Alright, I've made up my mind. You can go ahead and jump right into the ocean. What? If you're being serious, then you can do whatever you want. Jump or don't jump, I don't care. I'm not gonna be manipulated by you anymore. Using suicide as a way to get me to go back to you? You're disgusting! What? you really telling me to jump. What? So does that mean you don't want to be with me? Yes, correct. So go ahead and jump if you really want to. Uh, but I can't actually swim, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm your ex-wife, after all. If you know I can't swim, then why are you telling me to jump? If I see a dead body found floating in the water tomorrow, I won't even blink. I'm already committed to whatever happens. Are you serious? I've always hated this part about you. You've been manipulating me during our entire relationship. You told me it was my fault I couldn't satisfy you because I was always out working? That's why you said you had no choice but to cheat. You threatened to kill yourself several times if I ever mentioned leaving you. You put the blame on me for everything that goes wrong in your relationship. But you never once reflected on your own actions. You throw tantrums like a child if you didn't have things your way. What are you talking about, Alice? Where's all of this coming from all of a sudden? I'm tired and angry at you. I'm so done with you! 
If you really hated the woman your mom found for you, then you can go ahead and swim all the way to the other side of the world for all I care. I'm leaving now. Never contact me again. After that, Chris made up his mind and really ended up jumping off the pier. He tried to get away as far as he could from the meeting his mom set up. But since he couldn't swim, people at the pier immediately went in and saved him. His mom had run after him and finally caught up with him. She took him away with her while he was sopping wet. She marched him straight back to the meeting where the other woman was waiting. For some reason, the woman took an interest in Chris after seeing him dripping wet. She forgave him for running off and agreed to marry him. Chris began his married life with the 40-year-old recluse. And to no one's surprise, his wife never got up from the couch and ordered Chris around all day long. <laughs>